Hey guys, today I will show you some of my pickups and let's go over the pickups that I recently got. Um, this is over some time, so over a few months. It's been a while since I've done something like this. A playset of Noble High Arcs. This price has gone up, 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 and up. Um, C is very good. Infect is one of the top modern decks. And just overall, as a card, you can tell that it is very strong. Um, it was reprinted as a rare, but the cards have since gone up. And as I talked about Tamagoyf in the previous video, I would much rather have Noble Hierarchs with the little sticker than not. Especially since the little sticker means that they are actually cheaper. You can actually get these cards cheaper, and that's mainly for counterfeit measures, um, if I can. I, it's kind of like if there's a sticker on it, if a counterfeiter had to counterfeit a Noble High Arc, why would they ever counterfeit this one? Because it involves a totally different printing process. I know people say, oh, they can, they can, but you would have to be like a terrible business operation or counterfeit operation to think that way when you can sell the, you know, if you ha had to make a counterfeit, Obviously, the one with the sticker is much harder than the one with in Conflux, and the one in Conflux is actually going to sell for more money, so it's illogical. Uh, Malera, I do love my Princess Malera, who is now... Whenever you look at a card, you look at a card for its unique effect, I'm still collecting her. I do hope for a reprint. I'm hoping for a reprint, but I'm not sure if there will be one. And if there is a reprint, I can actually get foils of her, finally. Uh, her foil price is insane right now, and it's even a little too high for me to consider. It's got out of control. Like, her price went from, like, a dollar. She was a dollar when I purchased most of my Malaria's, and now her price is just out of control. The foils are even crazier. In hindsight, I should have purchased at least a place of foils. Um, talking about cards that you may be interested in, this one's a good one. Uh, this one, as a long-term speculation, has a lot going for it. It is a very unique card. It has a unique ability, and it's in a modern deck that can go infinite. Whenever you're talking about infinite, no matter how that deck does, people won't want to play it as long as it's like tier 1 or tier 1.5. So this card used to be like 25 cents, 50 cents. It was a bulk card. And in particular, it's in one of the uh, decks, one of the pre-con decks. I forget which one. It had this one, and then it had an Offenza, which is, has just skyrocketed in price right now. So you went from like $1.25 to $5 overnight as of the recording of this video. It had Windswept Heath. I mean, that deck was at Coco, which we'll get into a little later. Uh, Voice is still my favorite. Picked up eight more voices, mainly in trade. I've been trading out of Legacy. Uh, one of my concerns of Legacy, having seen Legacy, how it is. Can Voice see a reprint? Yes. It might see a reprint in Modern Masters 2017, but my guess is it will not. And the reason it will not, they need to still sell Dragon Maze. This is the only card in Dragon Maze worth any sum of money at all. Dragon Maze was an utter, if you reprint Voice of Resurgence in Modern Masters 2017, there will be no reason for anyone ever to crack a pack of Dragon Maze. And I know stores, large stores, who are not happy and are sitting on such high inventory of Dragon Maze that they cannot move for any price. I can't see this. It's bad enough. It's bad enough already. And Coco. Collected Company, one of my favorite cards. Just such a fun card. When it came out, I thought it was very bad. Because I was like, oh, well, I guess it's a slight upgrade, but why would you want, want you know, two two uh, free two free costing co casting cost cards instead of just, you know, a four? Well, you do because those, the power level creep is insane. When you look at what cards this can bring out in terms of instant speed in terms of selection it's just op it's so good frontier if frontier is a format gh will be number one coco will be number two coco rally is in incredibly strong uh, incredibly flexible and it serves as the combo deck for against the control deck 
And that's very important because not everyone likes playing control. I would like to say the majority of players do not like control. So rather than be a Grixis control deck, you can run combo. People like combo. People like aggressive decks with aggressive creatures because it feels like you're more playing a more interaction game. So Jace has gone up in price. I only expect him to continue to go up in price. These have really not. And again, if you can find, I don't know where you find it, in a Walgreens or a Walmart or just at your local game store, maybe a local game store in the middle of nowhere. If you can find the deck that includes Coco, Windswept Heath, Anafet, I don't know if it includes this Anafetzer, it includes the other Anafetzer, which is the, actually the more valuable one. It might include this one actually. I have to check. But also includes Siege Rhino, which is also playable in this deck. Uh, imagine if they made a tinier Siege Rhino and you could get it with Coco. <laughs> that would be just disgusting. I don't want to think about it. But Coco as a card, if you don't want to play your Jaces, and, or Jaces are too expensive for you to play, then your next option is play the Coco deck that does not include Jaces. Anyway, although Coco into Jace is not bad. So, these were my recent pickups. They were heavy hitters. Um, flea markets have been very, very bad of late because it's Christmas holiday and it's much more noisy, it's crowdy, and it's honestly very smelly and my friends don't want to go. I don't even want to go because it's just so smelly. Um, during the holidays, hopefully that will end because uh, you're spending a lot of time in the flea market looking for just random stuff. And people say, oh, is it worth the value? MT Finance is never worth the value unless you say that it's an entertainment. And then if you treat it as entertainment, there are very few forms of entertainment that make you money. The vast majority of entertainment, like just simply going to movies or going to Dave and Buster's, you're going to pay money to be there, right? If you go to Dave and Buster's um, and you make money from Dave and Buster's, then Dave and Buster's will go bankrupt. Or casino, right? If you go to the casino, actually I was recently at a casino and the odds of you winning are very poor. Very, very poor. <laughs> and the more you continue to play, the more the odds st stack up against you and eventually you will lose. So at least in Magic Cards, when I'm spending like a day at the flea market, even if I break even, even if I decide just to waste my time there, I cannot lose money. Anyway, bye guys.